All right, so on this example, what we are going to have to do here is we're going to have to get a common denominator. And so the LCD here is going to be 30, okay? So I'm going to have to manipulate that 10 into a, thir um, to a 30. And so what we'll do here is, first of all, I kind of I like to write, whenever I have a negative with my fraction, I always assign it to the numerator value. It's just personal preference. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. So I went ahead and moved those negatives out in front to the numerator. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm basically I'm going to multiply that first fraction by 3 over 3, which is really, that's just, that's a glorified 1, right? That's just a 1 right there. And so in doing so, though, I'm going to change the ratio into negative 21 over 30. But that's still the same as negative 7 over 10. It's the same ratio. I'm just... Um, like I said, kind of manipulating it there so that now I can have matching uh, denominators. Now, once I have the denominators matching, then you just go ahead and complete this part of the problem and you keep that common denominator. So it's going to be negative 21 plus negative 1 all over 30. And then what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and they're on the same team, so add them together. So that's going to be negative 22 over 30. And then those are both even numbers. So I know that I can at least reduce it by a factor of 2. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm basically I'm going to divide both the top and bottom by 2. So that would give me negative 11 over 15. And then you check and see if they have any common factors between 11 and 15. And, and there's not. So that's going to be my final result right there. So I hope that helps. You know, if you need any other assistance, feel free to to reach out.